Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, all of my beautiful friends from the internet. Uh, I'm so excited to be here with you, uh, kicking it on another beautiful Tuesday. And I hope every, each and every single one of you uh, this Tuesday uh, is a bright and shining a day and it's it's a new it's a new season where we're ushered in fully to the new season it's springtime and i hope uh i hope that uh, the weather is nice wherever you're wherever you're at and that uh things are overall pleasant so um again i just want to give a shout out to my my friend sam for coming on the last podcast that was a lot of fun i i hope that uh everybody enjoyed that episode i know i did for sure i thought it was a really fun uh really fun time and a really fun experience so Thank you for that, Sam. If you haven't listened to that, go check out our last episode. But even still, we will uh, just hop into this week's episode. So welcome to the Reddit Asks Us podcast, the podcast where we read and react to comments from r slash ask Reddit. I am your host, Luke Dick. Remember, if you're watching on YouTube, remember to like, remember to comment, and to subscribe. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever else you get your podcasts, make sure to leave us a rating and also please leave us a review. Um... Now, we have a brand new feature on Spotify. This feature is so fun. It's exciting to use, and I'm so happy to tell you guys about it. So you can answer this week's Reddit question by clicking the description of the most recent episode. And below the description, you should see this week's question. And to the right is an icon that says, a white icon that says reply. You know, this is just a... a, a feature I'm really excited about because it, it gives us the opportunity to boost engagement within the community and I can hear what uh, everyone else has to say and uh, you can do that right directly on uh, on Spotify, which is just so fun um, and you will be notified as soon as your response is published. So uh, yeah, I'm I, like it, the past few weeks of doing this and, and like even just letting people know about this feature have been overwhelmingly successful i'm so so thankful that people have decided to you know send in their anecdotes and and their comments and being able to read them out on you know on on the platform really does feel like a privilege because it's uh it's it's just so so great to hear what everyone has to say and it's so so cool to hear from the community and to encourage engagement within the community uh, and then you can all see your your responses on the Spotify page so anyone who knew who might be new to listening to the podcast can go and check out an episode if they see the description they can see oh my goodness you know, there's, 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 uh, there's other people here who listen to the podcast and they have, you know, they're replying and, and, and then who knows, maybe we can, uh, it just helps us to create a, a foster a better community. And I, I just love hearing uh, from you all. So, uh, last week's episode, uh, if we want to just jump over to Spotify, um, last week's episode was, um, let's see here. What was the weirdest thing you've seen at a party? Um, we got some really, really interesting comments read and some really funny responses here from everybody. So Vortex says, Some, someone was licking all of the flavor on the chips and then just put them back. <laughs> Did, I don't understand. Do they think that this is no, no one's going to notice? Like No one's just going to be like, just like see you licking the chips. Nobody who even eats chips like that. Who just licks the flavor off the chips in general and then just eats them? What's the whole that de completely defeats the purpose? You know, I, I like eating. I like eating the chips plain. You know, but but I like the flavor on the chips and just keeping those things separate. You know, it's like separating your veggies and your main course meal. You know, the potatoes and the chicken. You know, it's just you got to keep them separate. All right. No food can be touching. So, you know, I'm a big fan of the of the uh, of the classic chips. You know, chips with with not a whole lot of flavor on them. So I just you gotta lick that flavor off, and then just then you and then you can enjoy the chip. You know, because now it's like a plain chip, right? With a little bit of hint of flavor. Um, that's disgusting. I want to know what happened to that guy. <laughs> like, does everyone like what? Did everyone just like like start going around just being like, D have you seen? Have you seen him? He's just licking all the chips. Everyone's like, I, I thought I was insane. But yeah, he's licking all the chips. It's disgusting. I picked one up and I was going to eat it, but it was all wet. It was it was gross. You know? You get that, that person deserves a special place, a uh, uh, special type of punishment. Um, next one comes from Foxtrot. 
a five-year-old at a nightclub full of strippers. Now, that one is just unfortunate, you know, um, because the kid definitely doesn't really know what's going on. And that's going to be one of those memories that the kid's going to have in like 30 years and be like, or even just 20 years or something, be like, now I'm looking back on that experience and thinking to myself, maybe this is why I am the way I am. Maybe there's been some, a couple here and there, a little bit of sprinkled in external factors as to, you know, why I have issues with my mom. You know, maybe, maybe we just, you know, there, there's some other reasons as to why we didn't fully, you know, connect, see eye to eye. You know, she was bringing me to work. That's just, you know, not, not, not necessarily the, the best environment there for, for, for a five-year-old, but all I can ask is, I hope he was busting it down. You know, I hope, I hope he was busting it down white boy style, cause that's, that's, that's the, that's the only, that's the only redeeming quality. Um, then we've got the, oh my goodness, Phil Savannah, holy crap. I just now, um, realized, Phil, that the Phil Savannah, your name is Phil, and you're from Savannah, Georgia, and so the last part of your name is Phil Savannah, you know, Georgia, oh, I didn't, I didn't get that before. Um, so Phil says, uh, and shout out to Savannah, Georgia. Um, I would love to go down to Georgia, man. I, I, I've, I'd love to visit the Southern United States. I just like, I've literally only ever been to Florida and I've hardly really been there. I was there for a couple of days before I, I mean, my family and I went on like a, a cruise, but, um, yeah, I, I would, I would love to go down to Georgia. Um, I want to go to Atlanta. Atlanta seems like a really co- cool place. Um, so Phil says, Walked in a garage and saw a girl giving a pterodactyl. I told this to my friend, like I told this to Sam, <laughs> this comment, and he was like, what the hell is that? Um, she had all three holes filled. Oh, God. Oh. And was using both hands, five total. Sounded like a wailing, flailing pterodactyl. Also was going to be my ride home. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god. You're just sitting in the car. Um So did did you have did you have fun or <laughs> did what um uh did you um uh did you meet anyone Anyone or few people that did you think they were those guys were cool like were they chill were they were they chill dudes? Um, yeah, I don't really know if they were chill. I was just kind of you know having sex with them all. So nothing that there's anything wrong with that. Of course, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a very f- funny scenario. You walk in on your friend just getting oh. Um... I don't necessarily think we should label that, but uh, getting pterodactyl. we will just say that. <laughs> like yeah like what are you gonna like, what are you gonna say what are you gonna talk about on the drive home like yeah it was a pretty good party hey, hey yeah i just i didn't really you know i wasn't really in the drinking mood tonight you know after anyways <laughs> um that's a wild story phil that is a wild story um I wish, like I said, I apologize because of the character limit. There is a character limit on the on the comments, so it's unfortunate that you couldn't go into more detail. But that is uh that's an that definitely seems like enough. Um, <laughs> okay, let's just hop into this week's episode. So this week's episode again comes from r slash ask Reddit. Uh, what was the wildest way you found out you've been cheated on? Um. I always see these, like, I always see those, like, Instagram reels and, like, TikTok videos where people are, are, are kind of, like, recording. I don't even, probably they're staged and stuff. Some of them might be real, but, uh, where where people are, like, recording themselves, you know, telling their significant other that they know they've been cheating on them, which, you know, to a certain extent, some of those have got to be real because, like, the motivation for that, like, if, I mean, I don't know if that's something I would ever do. Um, but like, is it just, that's, just, I don't know. That's not really my style. It's not really my, my type of personality to go exposing people like that. You know, even if it was something that, w- that would hurt me a lot. Um, it, it's, it, I could see, I could see how somebody would want to 
do something like that if they were the type of person. I don't think you have to be a bad person to do something like that, you know, to record somebody after telling them that you know they've been cheating. Um, but it just takes, a, you know, the type of person who has that personality. And um, so I, I, get, I, bet, I bet you some of them are definitely staged because they know the content's going to go viral. But I bet you some of them are real because I've seen some ones and it's like, okay, that is a little bit too real of a reaction to be fake, um, to be acting. So there, there are a few uh, very good actors and actresses on this planet, and I don't think that this person is one of them. Um, but you always just, yeah, you get the wildest reactions, man. And it's always interesting how people find out that they've been cheated on, you know? Um, anyways, okay, first one comes from Two Pockets. Uh, her parents told me, how did, <laughs> I told this one to Sam earlier, I'm like, how did they know, how did they know, like, was she just bringing around other dudes around the house, just being like, like, every week there's just like a new guy, and they've just been like, yeah, we're just gonna go and hang out, don't you think Jason is gonna be a little bit, you know, not okay with that, um, oh, he's, you know, it's fine. It's fine. He he's he's off doing his own thing. You know, he you know him. N t t you know, nail the grindstone, teeth to the grind thing. You know it. You know him. You know him. Okay, he's a hustler. All right, he's just getting after it. Just getting after it. So, I figured, you know, he's busy. You know, he's busy. So, well, I'm just going to hang out with you know, you know, and and then and all the Jason. You know, it's fine. It's fine. I think it's okay. Um. But yeah, like, what the fuck? Her, her parents were just like, um, yeah, uh, listen, Steven, um, our daughter's cheating on you. How do you, why would you, how, how do you know that? Yeah, our, our daughter's been cheating on you big time, buddy. Big time. Yep. She's just been. You know, she's a, she's, ta she's, she, she's, she gets around, you know, she's, she's, she's just, yeah, she's been cheating on you. Sorry, bud. All right. Um, but do you, I can give you a ride home. Do you want to ride home? Uh, yeah, I think I'm good. Uh, someone comments, uh, or, or legal association 82 comments, W parents. That is fact. I feel like, I feel like if, if one of my children was cheating on their partner, I feel like I'd have an obligation to tell the, tell the, the other person, like, come on. Like if you raise your children well too. And you see that your kid's doing some shit like that. That's just holding your kids accountable, right? That's just making your kids, you know, apologize. Like I would honestly, I would have brought, I would have brought her there and sat them both down and been like, "She's cheating on you," um, because no, no child, no child of mine is gonna be doing that shit. No child of mine is going to be cheating on their partners, and then if I knew about it me not exposing them because I, I I hope I hold myself to higher standards than that to be a parent and not instill those types of values in people and the thing is is like okay say say you're just a you're a very sexually active person lots of people exist like that like it's it's I don't know I, I think it's it's hard to get this across to your children but I do think it's important that your children understand that you know or or that that they shouldn't be they shouldn't feel slut shamed if they're just like a naturally you know sexually you know uh, inclined person you know what I mean some people are just more than others it's just that's how it is right and I think there's a lot of pressure in our society right now for everybody to get into relationships right especially when they're young it's all about who's dating who who's doing this right and it's like if you don't want to date anybody but you just want to you know mess around there's no problems with that it's just it's just it's doing it in a in a safe way right it's do it's doing it in a way like if you want to get pterodactyled you know by, by by your own by your own volition you know when you're not feeling coerced or pressured or something like that and you that's something you want to do um i mean that's <laughs> that's in pretty and pretty wild that's that's more than something that I that's more than I would 
you know, uh, you know, uh, be comfortable in my own life. But that's not for me to say that that's not comfortable for somebody else. So if you want to go and do that, just fine. That's fine. But you, it's it's this pressure of us feeling like we have to be in a relationship, and that that's the only sort of accepted um, norm in our society is that is that you have to be in a relationship. You know, to be to be uh, doing things, but it's like, no, that's not the case. You know, you can raise your children better than that. It's like, listen, don't cheat on your partner. If you want to go and screw around, do it. Who cares? You know what I mean? As long as you're being safe and, and you know, uh, covering all of your, you know, uh, bases, so to speak. Um, Zenkai replies and says, Zenkai Z replies and says, this goes to show people always want to blame parents when someone is an asshole, but sometimes good people just raise shitty people. I've known families where like two to three of the kids are saints and the fourth is just off the rails and they grew up all in the same house with the same rules. Yeah, exactly. And just some people are just different. So, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. It's not a one size fits all sort of thing. Um, all right, uh, Force King, Force Kin sixty nine says, she demanded to read all the messages on my phone. I said no problem, but only if I could read the messages on hers. She had forgotten to delete a message from a guy saying, "All we ever do is fuck. We can't hang out. Oh, can't we hang out sometime?" There was nothing on my phone. That's how you know, it, bro. If your if your significant other is like begging to see your phone, come on, bro. That's a red flag right there. That's a red flag. Yeah, I just want to see your phone to see if you're cheating on me. Are you cheating on me? Let me see your phone. I need to see your phone to see if you're cheating on me. You literally Snapchat me all day. You've seen everywhere I am. I keep my Snap Maps on, okay? I keep my location on. You know where I'm at. You know all the places I go. You're with me for like 90% of all the time that I'm ever anywhere ever. Where, when, when would I have time? Where, when, when do you think this is happening? Am I just like slithering away in the middle of the night? It just, that's how you know. That's how you know. If she's, if, if she or he is always like, I gotta see your phone. I gotta see your phone. I know you're cheating on me. I know you're cheating on me. Then odds are there's a little bit of, uh, there's a little bit of what we call projection there. It's a little bit of, you know, good old fashioned projection you know um but yeah there was nothing there was definitely nothing on his phone that's for sure um evie uh 1995 says this was exactly how i found out my ex-boyfriend was uh sexting other girls he found nothing on my phone because there was nothing to find he had a whole message thread making up plans to have sex with some other chick i've never seen anyone cry hard <laughs> cry so hard and as fast as he did like that's the thing I, I always have, like, I have an, a pretty much an open phone policy with everyone I know, with everyone I'm close with, you know what I mean? Like, there's, I don't really have anything to hide. I mean, unless it's, like, you know, I don't want to, I have I have my credit cards and stuff like that, it's in, but all that stuff's, like, password protected, but, um, she's like, babe, I just want to look through your phone, you know, and you think she's going to go through your camera roll, she's trying to find your credit card number, <laughs> um, but, like, it, it's, um, I don't, I don't have a big deal with people, you know, looking through my phone because I don't really, I don't take super sussy photos and I really have nothing to hide. My life is, especially if you're close to me, if you're a friend of mine, my life is a fairly open book. You know what I mean? I talk, even I talk about myself on this show pretty openly. So, you know, if anybody really wanted to find out some deep-seated information on me. I don't really think it'd be that difficult. <laughs> There's hours of me talking on online. You know what I mean? I'm sure somebody can find something if they really wanted to. Um, next post comes from Character Moment 689. Apparently, he wrote an address wrong, uh, and the love letter he wrote, re he wrote was returned to our home. It was a great way to come back from vacation. Who is writing actual love letters, especially to the person that you are cheating with your partner on? Why are you writing them a love letter? And this is like, like you're just sitting there, you know, sketching this whole this whole love letter. It's so elaborate. Like, what is this, 1940? Have you ever heard of a phone call? Have you ever heard of something maybe same principle, similar principle? Um, 
you know, it's it's a way to communicate language with people over text, written text. Um, and it's actually something called texting, right? It's just, it's text, right? Text, right? Written word, text, and then just ing on the end of that. You know, just just doing it. It's it's literally the most base version of, te- of, of text getting across to somebody. Texting, you know what I mean? That's, it's, it's, have you ever heard of that? Not that I'm trying to condone this person or trying to encourage that. You obviously deserve to get caught, but, and also, obviously nobody deserves to be cheated on, but what, what, why are you writing, why are you writing a letter? Like he's got the whole ink dab, he's dabbing the ink in the thing with the pen, the old, the old ass pens with the feathers, you know, like what, what is this, you know? Doth I profess my love for one? Um, family is modern replies and says, who puts a return, a return address on an illicit love letter? What a moron. <laughs> yeah. In case, uh, in case this doesn't get to the address, just, just send it back to me. Yeah. Just, just send it right back to my address. Yeah. Just, just right there for anyone who might pick up the mail to just come and see, you know, you know, bills. Oh, illicit love letter. Classic. Boyfriend's always sending those ones out. He's always sending those out, so don't really think you got to worry too much with that one. Um, uh, TH3 accountant replies and says, bro, I know someone who got busted because he had written a packing list for his business trip that included condoms. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like, what are you thinking? Like, why do you need to put that on your packing list? You can literally purchase that anywhere. What are you worried? You're going to like, you're going to not like, you're going to lose a few bucks. Like, why, why are you putting that on? It's like, she's helping you pack. She's like, why are there condoms on here? Um, right, babe. Um, that's a funny one. Um, actually, uh, you know that, um, I just like the way they feel just, you know, I'm almost, I'm always packing one. You know, just just in case, right? In case of emergency, you know, what emergency? Are you gonna slip and fall into someone's vagina, or what's the deal here? Well, you know, like for protection, you know, just like in case, right? You know, just like just in case, right? You know, what if what if someone tries to rape me, babe? What if I already got the condom on? They're probably gonna be like, well, since you already have it on, you know. It's really not that big of a deal. So I'll just probably leave that on, you know? I just like the way it feels, you know? It's just like, uh, it's almost like wearing a can, babe. So oh, I think it's pretty chill, actually. So, you know, I'm, I'm just looking out for you, honestly. I'm looking out for you, babe. I love you. Oh, <laughs> my God. Come on, bro. Yeah, how are you writing condoms on a, on a packing list? It's not even like, like, uh, <laughs> you know, just step out the house and, oh, babe forgot my condoms forgot that right on the list it was right there why, why do you have to write that down it's not something that's not completely easily accessible like almost no matter where you go anywhere at any time ever like there are 24-hour gas stations that sell that the world is actively trying their best to help you not have children when you like to, to help you have protected s- sexual intercourse okay the world is designed you can almost get condoms anywhere like it was really something you forgot to pack, you know? Um, next one comes from uh, K- Chameleon, um, but spelled really weird. Chameleon, I spelled, but spelled strange. Um, she tasted like smoke, but was a non-smoker. Yeah, that'd, that'd give it away. That'd give it away. That's a pretty telltale sign there. That something's maybe a little bit off. Um... But yeah, that's, that's, um, you know, I thought you hated smoking. I thought you were, you're literally a lung surgeon. You are literally studying lungs. Why do you use your breath smell like smoke? You know, that's just, people just want what they can't have, man. Want what they can't have. Uh, Riddled with Enigma, new comment says, date night canceled day of. I decided to make it a guy's night to see the new Marvel movie at the time. As we entered, I saw her sitting in the theater, snuggled up with a guy. 
Our seats were a few rows back. I saw them kiss a couple times. When we left at the end, uh, they were they were exiting the aisle as we walked down the stairs. She absolutely froze and saw me, blocked her on everything while I'm in the parking lot. That's why that's that's where you gotta you already gotta start. But when you when you, it's too bad that they are below you. I mean, it's kind of a good thing because you're able to see that. But if if you are below them, just getting in getting in front and then just kind of you know hitting some Mike O'Hearn poses, you know, while she's walking with this other dude in the theater, you know, baby, don't hurt me no more. You know, just kind of hitting those poses, just being like, I don't need you. I'm jacked. I got, I got, I got my own thing going on here. Um, that's hilarious, man. That's blocked her while you're in the parking lot. That's, that's like, that's gotta be one of the worst ways to you're like you actually see it you actually are like it's not it's something you're being told it's like you're 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 like well there's literally proof i was i was there <laughs> like i witnessed it with my own two eyes this is not secondhand information that somebody is telling me um also i knew guys in high school who like um like like guys that i knew and a couple of their girlfriends cheated on them everyone else was telling them dude, your girlfriend's cheating on you, but they would refuse to believe it because they were just like, unless I hear it from her, I don't believe you. What? Yeah, as if she's just gonna be like, oh, by the way, babe, I'm cheating on you. Sorry about that. You're like, oh, damn, everyone was right. <laughs> yeah, I think if you're hearing that from everyone... You know, um, I don't like maybe some other people have, you know, some people might have some ulterior motives, but everyone, ev like, like everyone, literally everyone is telling you that. I think that's, I think it's a little bit, you know, conspiratorial to think that everyone that you know has some sort of ulterior motive with trying to tell you this type of information, you know, <laughs> it's like, yeah, unless I hear it from her. Yeah, because she's really incentivized to tell you that type of information. Um, and somebody was like, yeah, that was uh, probably Endgame. Um, Lupo uh, Nero replies and says, had a similar thing happen to me. Invited her to go see Candyman. Had uh, to reschedule twice uh, so it fit better for her schedule. The day I text her, I hear nothing back about going. I've been wanting to see this movie for a while at this point, so I go to the agreed-upon time anyway because I had already planned to. Sat down o only to see about three seats to my right on the same row, her cuddled up with another dude. Wow. Sorry, my kings. That is rather unfortunate. Rather unfortunate. Um, but you know what? It This type, type of stuff happens all for the better. Um... So next one comes from Salakimi Salaki Salakelmi. On my birthday, I was with my girlfriend and I passed out early. Uh, I had a long shift the next day and I had to drive two hours to get to her place. Woke up in the middle of the night, uh, went outside to uh, get a smoke, and I saw her screwing her ex in his car in the parking lot. Um, someone commented, "How did she react?" Um, and Sala Kimi says, first she was like a deer in headlights as I was, um, I was basically, I, I basically was it well as well. Then she started to cry, apologizing profoundly as I was packing my stuff and leaving, told me that it was a mistake. She loves me and that he got her some, f <laughs> and that he got her some food <laughs> and one thing led to another. Told her that's very interesting. Uh, that's a very interesting way of showing uh, her love to me on my birthday. Yeah, that's that's great. Listen, I know it's your birthday, but I really need some food, okay? And, you know, Alex is just driving by. He's just driving by, you know, and he said he's got food. So I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to hop in the car there for a little bit and then, you know, I can't promise you. You know, you know how food, you know how food starts, right? First it's food, then it's one thing led to another. You know, that's a that's a that's like the yada 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 thing in Seinfeld. <laughs> the, the people who go, yeah, yada yada yada. You know, it's like So my ex came over last night, you know, blah blah blah, yada yada yada. I'm really tired this morning. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
So my ex came and picked me up, um, you know, last night, yada, 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 you know, with some food because I was really hungry, yada, yada, yada. My back hurts today. Just weird, hey? Just woke up, back hurt. So weird. So weird. Legs are done today. Just just destroyed, ruined. Yeah, crazy coincidence, though. Real weird, real strange stuff going on here. Um, Classic Brilliant says, I joked about knowing and she was knowing that she was cheating and she broke down and admitted it and admitted it. Could you imagine? Oh, my God. Yeah, it's almost like you cheated on me. <laughs> Wait, you cheated on me? What the fuck? <laughs> like, what? How would you react to that? She starts breaking down crying. Like, oh my god, how did you know? I literally didn't. The only indication that's giving me, you know, any any idea that I know now that you actually cheated on me is the fact that you are having such a wild and adverse reaction to this and that you literally just admitted that you were cheating on me. Like, she just, she folded. She folded so quick, man. Holy, holy hell, man. Jesus, she folded quicker than a six-foot gray table. That is insane. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's it's crazy. I almost thought you were cheating on me. <laughs> You're cheating on me? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, come on, bro. That's immediately full. This girl has no bluff whatsoever. I wouldn't, I would... I would try to siphon as much money of, out of this person trying to play poker. Um, yeah, Pixie Fairy says, imagine just trying to make a stupid joke and it turns out to be true. Sounds awful. Everything was like good up to that point. Everything was fine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna marry this girl. You know, I think she, I think she might be the one. You know, <laughs> unless you cheated on me or something stupid like that. We know how ridiculous that is. <laughs> Wait, you're cheating on me? <laughs> like immediate, immediate one weight 180 um all right uh samurai next comment comes from samurai 294 my entire friend group knew about it and i only found out after the one real homie blacked blackmailed her into admitting it and when she did uh, it was the most insincere shit ever it's no big deal everyone else thinks it's okay and stuff like that suffice it to say I got my ass out of that relationship and friendship group real quick. <laughs> yeah, what the hell, man? Like, everyone's just... Everyone in your friend group just just doesn't tell you? You know, I'm sure... Okay, and I think there might be a reason here. I think we know who she was cheating on you with. They might have had some incentive maybe not to say. You know? It's like, bro, I think Melanie's cheating on me. Bro, no way. Not a, Not a chance, bro. You're crazy, bro. You're crazy, bro. There's just no way. I mean, who would she cheat on you with? Me? <laughs> you know, Jeff? <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know <laughs> it's crazy. You know, that's that's stupid. That's dumb. That You can't say that. You know, Josh? <laughs> who would? No. There's just no way. Nope. Not a chance. You know? Uh, Riley? There's <laughs> no way. No. No, just I don't I don't think so. I I don't think about that one. Nope. Not 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 a chance. You know, Nate, nope. No way. No way. It's just I I couldn't see it. Couldn't see that happening, bud. I think that's that's delusional. You're you're being you're acting delusional, okay? I wouldn't even I'd stop thinking about it. You know, I'd completely shut that down. Shut that shit down. Um <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh all right, next one comes from Rogue Walker 72 Not me, but my dad. His girlfriend at the time had been cheating on him with his friend, who didn't know they were in a relationship. How do you... What? My dad found out when his friend told him he was going to propose to her. That doesn't even... How does that even make any sense? How does... It, <laughs> that's like, what? How is that even possible? How are you friends with somebody and, and don't know who they're going out with? That, does, that conversation doesn't come up ever? You don't ever talk about who you're seeing. I find that to be highly, highly unlikely. I think this situation might be a little bit more complicated than than what you uh, than the information you might know fully there, Rogue Walker. Because 
that doesn't uh that doesn't that doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense to me. You never talk about your relationships. Your girlfriends just happen to coincidentally have the same name. Jill? Your girlfriend's name is Jill. Dude, my girlfriend's name is Jill. Your girlfriend has blonde My girlfriend has blonde hair. 54 My girlfriend is 54. Always wearing blue jeans and a flat. My girlfriend too. No way, dude. No way. You're going to go meet her right now. I'm going to go meet her right now. What? Yeah, this seems highly unlikely. Um, excuse me. Uh, Puma Revived uh, comments and says, One of her friends was a photographer and wanted to do some tasteful nudes, which apparently includes penetration and multiple days of getting the right shot. We had a shared Google Drive, which her friend didn't know that we shared. Oh, my God. Yeah, I bet you that they were very tasteful. They were probably very... Very fl lots of flavor in those ones. Lots of flavor in those pictures. Okay, lots of flair. You know, lots of very shocking. You know, nuanced. Very you know types of images. It's, oh man, that's got to be so bad. It's like you <laughs> you went out to take some photos of birds or something, and you're like uploading to the Google Drive so that every oh, everyone can see, and then it's just like, oh, my girlfriend having sex with someone who is not me. Hmm. These pictures were posted. Ah, uh, nice. Two days ago. Sweet. Oh, she uploaded. Oh, nice. Great. That's just awesome. Uh, poop on a candle comments and replies and says, your story reminded me of a past ex. Her free, her female friend was a photographer and she had a very intimate photo session with her. Not nude, but pretty damn close. She had told me about this beforehand, and I wasn't really for it. The style of the shoot was really not my taste, uh, but I wasn't going to stop her. She got very upset when I questioned what they were for, uh, if they weren't for her current, uh, what they were for, if they weren't for her current lover. Turns out uh, they were for her ex, who she was seeing on and off our entire relationship. Yeah, that's definitely a, a red flag there, uh, for sure. Yeah, you know, babe, I don't really know how I feel about you taking these photos. It's just, I'm kind of uncomfortable with it. You know what I mean? I think these are really suggestive poses. You're not letting me see them for some reason. And, you know, you keep saying, oh, they're not really for me. Then who are they really for? Yeah, I'm just not really feeling super comfortable with this. And she's just like, oh, it's okay. Don't even worry about it. That's fine. I think you're that you're just being silly. Don't even worry about it. It's fine. It's all good. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and just, you know, we're going to do this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really know if I feel totally comfortable with that. Well, you know what? You know, I'm not very comfortable ice skating, but, you know, you took me to do that. So, you know, I think I kind of, you know, this is a same thing, you know, sort of same thing. Yeah, I don't really think that those two things are really that. So, okay, bye. You know, I'll see you later. Um, let's just maybe read off one more. Um, so let's see. Um, just trying to find one. Okay. Uh, Jammers G says he sent me a picture of the dog while I was away and a text that said, look how cute she looks like three weeks later. I went back to the photo to show a friend and upon looking at the photo again, I noticed a pair of women's boots in the background by the door. Holy. Some detective moves right there. Some, that's some, uh, you caught him. You caught him right there. Because those are not, he just, I'm going to tell you right now, odds are greater that he was seeing somebody else than he was just in really enjoys to wear worn in women's shoes. I'm just gonna go out on all him. Hey, maybe it's maybe it's maybe he just likes to wear those worn in women's shoes. I'm not I'm not saying he doesn't. All I'm saying is that I would say it's a little bit more statistically highly probable that she would, you know, probably or that he would probably, you know, those that those shoes probably belong to somebody else, you know, and that he was seeing them rather than his uh particular affinity for, you know, just trying on dirty women's shoes. I'm just going to say that. Um, 
Anyways, okay, folks, we're going to wrap it up there for today. So thank you all so much for tuning into the Reddit Ask Us podcast. I'm so happy that I was here to hang with y'all on a beautiful Tuesday or whenever you happen to be listening to the show. Um, remember, this is the Reddit Ask Us podcast where we read and react to comments from r slash ask Reddit. I am your host, Luke Dick. Remember, if you're watching on YouTube, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and remember to use the new Spotify feature and answer this week's Reddit question by clicking on the description of the episode. And below the description, you should see this week's question and the icon that says reply. Uh, this is just, I'm so excited. I'm so happy that people have been using the feature and you will be notified uh, when it's when your response is published. But please go ahead and use the feature because it is so cool and so fun. And I love, love, love hearing from y'all. So peace out. Love you. Bye. And make sure to reply. All right, peace out.